Hi there and welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm Cheryl and this is Your Journey Yoga and we have an hour-long yoga session today, full body stretches. Um, beginner advanced? No. Hi there and welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm Cheryl and this is Your Journey Yoga and today we have an hour-long session that is just going to get head to toe. So making sure you've got some comfortable clothes on, some water handy, and grab whatever props you might want to make your practice be the very best. Thanks for being here and let's get started. A seated position that feels good to you, cross-legged if that's okay, and let's roll those shoulders up back and let those shoulders slide down and away. Mm, that feels good. Do that again. Big shoulder roll. Take it up, take it back, and let those shoulders slide down and away. Close your eyes. Rest your hands comfortably on those knees. If it feels good to you, turn your palms to the sky. Drape the wrists over the knees and bring your index finger and thumb to touch. We're going to just take those big, full, deep breaths in and out through the nose. Taking a few moments to quiet the body, the mind, to set the tone for our practice today. Mm, gonna work through, work out, let go, revive, recharge. We're gonna get it all. We bring the hands to the shins just below the knees. Take a big breath in, press the chest forward, arch your back, lift your gaze. Exhale, hollow your tummy and chest, press your spine towards the back, tuck your chin. Inhale, press it through, arch your back, lift your gaze. Exhale and hollow. One more time, each direction, press it through, arch your back, lift your gaze, and exhale, hollow. Inhale it back to your neutral spine, bring your hands down by your sides, pressing the palms down towards the ground, take a big breath in, and as you exhale, drop the chin down towards your chest. Inhale, head up nice and tall, and as you exhale, lean your head to the right, right ear over the right shoulder. Press your left palm down towards the ground. Close your eyes, relax your jaw. Big, full, deep breath. Inhale, head up nice and tall. And as you exhale, lean your head to the left. Left ear over the left shoulder. Pressing that right palm down towards the ground. Inhale, head up nice and tall. And as you exhale, turn and look out over your right shoulder far as you can turn your head, keeping those shoulders level and still. A little tuck of your chin down towards your right collarbone and press both palms down towards the ground. Inhale, lift your gaze, turn it back through center and then out over your left shoulder, far as you can turn your head. Again, keeping those shoulders level, still, and then gently tuck your chin down towards your collarbone. Inhale, lift your gaze, turn it back through center, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, release that right hand down, left arm up and over, glue that left sit bone to the mat. Reach, 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 a little roll of that left shoulder back. Turn your gaze up right along the inside of that left arm. 
Circling that left arm around behind your back, forearm along the small of the back. Just circle the back of your body as far as you can reach. Roll that left shoulder back and then turn and look down towards the mat. Little tuck of your chin. Left arm circles back up and over. And as you release, tummy and chest down towards your thigh, big exhale. Just a nice stretch all the side into that lower. Inhale, roll it back open, tummy and chest open to the front. And rise, both arms reach up. And exhale, left hand down, right arm up and over. Glue that right sit bone towards the mat. Reaching out through those right fingertips, turning your gaze up along the inside of that right arm. We circle that right arm around behind the back, forearm along the small of the back, rolling that right shoulder back just as far as you can. Keep it rolled back and then slowly turn your gaze down towards the ground. Little tuck of your chin towards that left collarbone. We circle that right arm back up and over. And as you exhale, release your tummy and chest down towards your thigh. Reach out through those right fingertips. Nice long stretch all the way down that right side. We once again roll it back open and rise. Both arms reach to the sky. As you exhale, lengthen, hinge it forward. Release your hands oh, and just let your upper body be heavy. Stretch in through those glutes, the lower back, hips and groin. As you walk those fingertips forward, a nice little stretch to those shoulders and through the side body. It feels good to you. Get the wiggles out. Just kind of wiggle your rib cage side to side. Just whatever feels good. And then surrender down. <clears throat> just let it be heavy. Inhale, circle the hands back by your hips. Big circle of those arms back up and overhead. And gently release your hands down by your sides. Let's rock it back, coming to boat pose. Hands behind your thighs. Sit up nice and tall. Shoulders are rolled back. Breathe. If you don't need the support, release it. We're going to open up those knees and then close the knees. Actually touch them. Open them. Soles of the feet together. Knees touch. Open. And you can do the same thing with support behind the thighs. Just opening and closing. A little work for hip mobility, a little strengthener for those adductors, a little core strength. One more time and back together we go. Breathe. Coming forward, cross your other leg in front, bring your hands down by your sides. If all of a sudden you have the same leg that was there before, it's just kind of a natural habit. Switch legs, press your palms down towards the ground. And as you exhale, chin towards your chest. Pressing those palms down, nice long stretch down the spine. Let's roll the head to the right, right ear over the right shoulder. Press your left palm down towards the ground. Exhaling and releasing your chin back down towards the chest. Roll those shoulders up and back and press those palms down towards the ground. On your exhale, roll your head to the left, left ear over the left shoulder. Pressing that right palm down towards the ground. Soften your eyes, relax your jaw. Just focus on what you feel. 
Exhaling and releasing the chin back down towards the chest. Inhale, head up nice and tall, reach to the sky. Exhale and release that left hand down, right arm up and over. This time, come on down onto your forearm. If you're able, glue that right sit bone to the mat. As you exhale, a little rotation forward, just rolling the tummy and chest forward a little bit, hollowing the tummy and chest, and then roll it back open. Exhale, a little hollow, little roll, just a slight rotation through that torso. Inhale and open it back up. Let's do that one more time. Exhale, a little hollow. And open it back up and reach. Both arms come overhead. Exhale, release that right hand down, left arm up and over. And again, coming down onto your forearm, if you're able, rolling that left shoulder back. As you exhale, a little hollowness of the tummy and chest, reaching out, just a slight rotation, and then roll it back open. Exhale, a little hollow, a little rotation. And again, open. We're going to do that one more time. Exhale, a little hollow, draw that belly button back. And open and reach. Both arms come up. Turn your palms to face front. Exhale, pull those elbows back and down. Open up your chest. Squeeze through the base of those shoulder blades. Inhale, reach. And exhale, pull. Inhale, reach. One more time. Exhale and pull. Inhale, reach it up. Pull the hands through heart center, hands to your shins, just below your knees. Take a big breath in. Press it forward. Arch your back. Lift your gaze. Seated cat and cow once again, hollowing the tummy and chest, press your spine towards the back, tuck your chin. Inhale, press it through, arch your back, lift your gaze. One more time, exhale, hollow. And inhale it up nice and tall, reach all the way overhead and lengthen, hinge it forward. Release your hands and just relax the weight of the upper body down. A little wiggle of that torso if that feels good to you. And then just let yourself sink in. Inhale, circle the hands back by your hips. Big circle of those arms up and overhead. Reach it up. And exhale, release your hands down by your sides. Let's open up those legs. Nothing super crazy. Just wide enough that you feel a good stretch to the inner thigh, but not to the point where you're having to rock back to your tailbone. So sitting up nice and tall. Reach it up. And then exhale, open those arms out to a T. Take a big breath in. Flex your feet. And as you exhale, pull that left elbow back as you rotate and hold. Breathe. Just hold that rotation. Keep that length in your spine. What do you notice? That stretch through the inner thigh of that right leg. That work through those obliques. Inhale it back to center. Now that right elbow, pull it back and hold. You feel that stretch through that inner thigh. The lift and the lengthen through the spine. Inhale it back to center. Now this time we're going to do three pulses. As you exhale, pull that left elbow back, back, back again and back to center. Right elbow pulls back. Three little rotations, and back through to center. Again, left elbow, keeping that length in the spine, and pull, and back to center. One more time each, pull. As you work to sit up nice and tall, that's gonna work those abdominal muscles even harder, because the body wants to kind of hollow out and release those arms. Let's sweep that right foot in, turn, and come up onto all fours. Hands shoulder width apart, knees hip width, core nice and strong. Let's tuck our toes and lift our knees just an inch off of the mat. Mm, that feels good for the toes. Hopefully it feels good for your toes. Arches of the feet, calves, core strong, lifting out of those shoulders. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, extend those legs, shift your weight back towards your heels. Let your head be heavy. Let's bend that right knee, left heel presses towards the mat.
Switch sides, left knee bends, right heel down. Switch again. And one more time. Allow both heels to sink. And then inhale it back to that hovering tabletop, bending the knees, lowering those knees to just about an inch off of the mat. A little shift of your weight forward, extending those legs, transferring some weight forward, stretching through the wrists and the forearms. If that's not great for you, don't do it. Coming back to that hovering tabletop. Again, shifting it forward. You can extend those legs as much or as little as you like. And then back to your hovering tabletop. Extending those legs, shifting your weight back towards your heels to your down dog. Taking the gaze between your hands and walk your feet in to forward fold. Soft bend in your knees, head heavy. A little shift of your weight forward, toes, and then back towards your heels. Again, toes and back towards your heels. Just a couple more. Little rocking motion. And then we're going to center our weight, letting the arms be heavy. And ever so slowly, ragdoll your way up. As we reach the top, let's give those shoulders a good roll up and back. And let the shoulders slide down and away. Do that again, big shoulder roll. Take it up and back. And let those shoulders slide down and away. Give those arms a couple good shakes. And then just let your arms hang heavily down by your sides. Roll the shoulders up and back. Open your palms to the front. Tummies are tight. Glutes are tight. We're in our mountain pose. Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, walk, step, or hop to high plank. Let's hold that plank on your toes or your knees, lifting out of the shoulders, lengthening through the crown of the head, strong through that belly. Slow your breath. On your next exhale, crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And let's sit it back to child's pose. Extending those arms out nice and long, hips back towards your heels. You're welcome to open up those knees a little bit or keep them together. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands to the right, reach to your left fingertips as far as you can, press your hips to the left and then release the weight of the upper body down. A little lateral stretch. For the spine, beautiful stretch down that left side. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands back through center, and then over to the left, reaching through your right fingertips, pressing your hips to the right, and release the weight of your upper body down. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands back through center to child's pose. Extending those arms out nice and long, hands shoulder width apart, spread your fingers wide. Let's inhale up to a modified high plank. Crocodile down. Press it through, up dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips to down dog. Shifting your weight to your left foot, right toes reach to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right foot through between your hands. Back knee is welcome to come to the mat if you like or stay off. We circle those arms back and up and overhead to our crescent lunge. We allow those hips to be heavy sinking in regardless of if the knee is on the ground or off. Should feel this really nice stretch to the front of that left leg. Inhale, straightening that front leg a little. And exhale, sink. <clears throat> Inhale, straighten. 
and exhale, sink, stay low. Inhale, reach, and as you exhale, hinge it forward, sweep those arms back to flight. Crown of the head reaching out in a diagonal line, long spine, roll those shoulders back, spread your fingers and reach. Palms are facing the ground, arms just a little bit higher than your hips. We lengthen and we extend. Rotate palms to the sky, finish your circle, big circle of those arms up and overhead. Interlace your fingers, bring your hands behind your head, and as you exhale, lean your head back into your hands. Open up your chest, feel that stretch to the belly, all the way down the front of that left leg. Inhale it up nice and tall, extend those arms to the sky, flow forward, hands on either side of your foot. Lift your hips, sweep it back, and extend right leg to the sky. And gently release it down to down dog. Holding your down dog or inhale it to high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile. Press it through up dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips to down dog. And let's sway those hips side to side. Big, full, deep breaths. Coming back to center. Shift your weight to your right foot. Left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left foot through between the hands. Again, back knee can come down or stay off. Circle those arms back and up and overhead. Softening the shoulders. Core strong, inhale, straighten that front leg a little. And exhale, sink, stay low. Inhale, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, circle those arms forward and then back to flight. Crown of the head reaching out to find that diagonal line. Roll your shoulders back, spread your fingers. Again, hands just a little bit higher than your hips. Core strong, draw that belly button in and up. Intensity and purpose. Without tension, letting go of tension, rotating those palms to the sky, big circle of those arms up and overhead. Again, interlace those fingers, bring your hands behind your head, open your elbows wide, take a big breath in, and as you exhale, arch it back, a little or a lot. As you arch it back, feel how that influences that stretch through the belly, down through the hip flexors, down the right leg. Breathe, inhaling it up nice and tall, extend those arms, flow forward, hands on either side of your foot, lift your hips, sweep it back, and extend left leg to the sky. And gently release it down to down dog, and let's alternate bending knees, walk it out. What's going on with your body today, your head, your heart, the muscles? The joints, what's the what's everything saying? Be nice. Listen, process without judgment or criticism. The weather influences whatever's going on with the body, as does how we've slept, what we've had to eat. Inhale up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the chest and shoulders toward your thighs, reach your sit bones high. And exhale, let your heels gently sink. Shifting your weight to your left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhale and sweep that right foot to the outside of your right hand. Toes are slightly turned open. Pause for a moment here. Good stretch to the inner thigh. Down the front of that left leg. As you're ready, draw that left foot in across from the right. Walk your hands forward slightly just underneath your shoulders, supporting us in our frog pose. Toes are turned open. As you exhale, extend those legs. Let your upper body be heavy and just hang in that wide-legged forward fold. Core strong. Begin to bend your knees. Lower your bottom. Once again, back to frog. As you exhale, extend those legs. Let your head be heavy. And once again, back down to frog. Pulling those hands back in underneath you, stepping your left foot back, and then your right to high plank, crocodile down. Press it through up dog. 
and exhale to down dog. Lifting those sit bones to the sky, letting your head be heavy. Find your breath. We shift our weight to our right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left foot to the outside of your left hand. Toes are slightly turned open again. Pause here and just feel that nice stretch all the way down the front of that right leg into the groin and the hip on that left side. As you're ready, pull that right foot in across from the left. Walk your hands forward just slightly. Breathe. And let's just gently sway side to side. If the movement's not great for you, you don't have to do it. Coming back to center and exhaling, slowly extending those legs, lifting those sit bones high, head heavy. Take a hold of the ankles, use the strength of the arms, and just gently pull that upper body towards your space between your legs. A little shift of your weight forward into your toes. Centering your weight, let your arms be heavy, and ever so slowly ragdoll your way up. Just stack in each and every vertebra one at a time. At the top, a big shoulder roll up and back. Bring your hands behind your back. Open up that chest. Interlace your fingers. Roll the shoulders back and extend those arms. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, arch it back. Gaze to the sky. Inhaling it back up nice and tall. Exhaling, lengthening and hinging forward. All the way over. Hands can remain at the small of your back, or if you like, roll those shoulders up and back and lift your hands towards the sky. Let your head be heavy. Give it a little shake. Slowly bring the hands to the small of the back. And then gently just let your arms slide down your legs. Arms are heavy below your head. Shifting your weight to your heels as you exhale, begin to bend your knees. Once again, lowering back to your frog pose. Pulling those hands back just slightly, we step our right foot back. And then our left to high plank, toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through up dog. Adding an optional push up if you like. To down dog. Find your breath, slow it down. Inhale up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the chest and shoulders toward your thighs, reach your sit bones high. As you exhale, bend your knees, lower your bottom down low, a tight little ball. Exhale and extend those legs, be high on the balls of the feet. Again, inhale, bend the knees. And exhale, extend those legs, let your heels sink. Taking the gaze between your hands, walk your feet in to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Inhale, reverse one dive up. Exhale and releasing that left arm down by your side. Right forearm crosses the crown of the head and gently pull your head to the right. Relaxing the weight of your right hand. Left fingertips reaching down towards the ground. Releasing that right arm, extend it to the sky. Switch sides, right arm down, left arm high. Cross the crown of the head and gently pull. Relaxing the weight of that left hand. Reaching your right fingertips down towards the ground. Breathe. Breathe. 
Inhale, extending that left arm to the sky, right arm to the sky. Interlace your fingers. Bring your palms to touch. Interlace the fingers all but the index finger and thumb. Heel toe those feet together so they're side by side. Inhale, reach. And as you exhale, lean to the right. Hips to the left. Use your right hand to pull that left arm. Inhale it up nice and tall. And exhale, lean to the left, hips to the right. Use that left hand to pull that right arm. We'll roll of that right shoulder back if you need it. Breathe. Inhale it up nice and tall. Find a focal point out in front of you. Shift your weight forward. Lift your heels up as high as you can come. Breathe. Just gazing forward, finding that focal point. Solid, strong. Slowly releasing those heels back down. Opening up space between those heels. Big toes remain touching. Shift your weight to your heels and let's sit to chair. Arms can remain overhead or you can pull those hands down to heart center. You decide what's right for you. Inhale. Straightening those legs just a little bit. And then exhale, sink. Again, inhale, straighten. And exhale, sink. Inhale, we rise. Exhale, arch it back. Inhaling it up nice and tall. Pull the hands to heart center, rock back to your heels. Open up those feet to hip width apart, we're in mountain. Extending left arm to the sky, shift your weight to your left foot, right hand reaching down, right foot kicks up. Take a hold along the inside or the arch of your right foot and then draw your knees towards one another. Nice little stretch to the front of that right leg through the quadricep and hip flexors. Nice little stretch to the front of the shoulder. If you wish to intensify things, begin to press that left foot or that right foot into your hand as you guide it towards the sky. Hinging forward, if you like, to dancer's pose. Finding your breath. Calming it down. Inhale, slowly we rise, drawing those knees back towards one another. Releasing the foot, standing tall. Pull the hands to heart center. We extend that right arm to the sky, shifting your weight to your right foot. Left hand reaches down, left foot kicks up. Take a hold along the inside or the arch of your foot and draw your knees towards one another. Standing tall, opening up through that left shoulder. Nice little stretch to that left quadricep. If you'd like to intensify, begin to press that left foot into your hand. Hand begins to guide your foot towards the sky. You are welcome to hinge forward or stay up. Find your breath. Again, dancer's pose. Inhale, slowly we rise, drawing those knees back towards one another. And gently release your foot, standing tall to mountain, hands at heart center. Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, up to monkey half lift. Exhale, down, walk, step, or hop to high plank, toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through, up dog. And exhale to down dog. We shift our weight to our left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right foot up about two thirds of the way, toes are slightly turned open. We roll to the left hand and right arm extends to the sky. As we roll to the outside of that left foot, there's this beautiful stretch to that right hip. Lengthening and reaching. Find your breath. As you exhale, release that right hand down. Shift back to the left toes. Step it back to plank. Crocodile down. Press it through up dog. 
Optional push up if you like. To down dog. And we shift our weight to our right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left foot about two thirds of the way up. Toes are slightly turned open. Roll to that right hand, outside edge of that right foot, left arm to the sky. Reach it up. Find your breath. Slow it down. Exhaling and releasing that left hand down, rolling back to those right toes. Step it back to plank. Crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. We inhale up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the chest and shoulders toward your thighs. Reach your sit bones high. And exhale, let your heels gently sink. Taking the gaze between your hands and walk your feet in to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Inhale, reverse one dive up. And as you exhale, take a giant step, opening up nice and wide. Arms open out to a T. Nice and tall. Rotate palms to the sky. Inhale, reach to the sky. Pull the hands to heart center and sink into goddess pose. As deeply into those legs as you like, shoulders are soft and breathe. And let's slide to the left, extending that right leg. If you need to adjust the width of your stance, do slide back through the center and then over to the right and back to center. Again, to the left, we're just going to slide as gracefully as we are able, doing our very best to stay as level as possible. So you're not coming up through center and then sinking as you slide. Last one each direction. And again to the right and back through the center. Interlace your fingers, press your palms out, lift those arms overhead, soft through those shoulders. Find a focal point out in front of you. If you like, lift your heels. Breathe. Release your heels. Extend those legs. Reach to the sky. And as you exhale, lean to the left. Pressing through that right palm. If it feels good to you, look up along the inside of that right arm. Inhaling it back to center. Gaze to center. And exhale, lean to the right. Press through that left palm, and if it feels good to you, look up along the inside of that left arm. Inhale it back to center. Sink back down into those legs. Open those arms back out to a T. Little torso and shoulder twist. As you exhale, roll that right shoulder in, turn and look out over your left arm. And then roll it back open. Left shoulder, roll it in, little rotation through the torso and back to center. Again, roll the right shoulder in and open. Left shoulder, roll it in and roll it open. Reach to the sky. Open those arms out to a T. Shift those right toes in, left toes to the top of the mat. Bend that left knee and sink into your warrior two. Gazing out over your front middle finger. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little. And exhale, sink. Again, inhale, straighten. And exhale, sink back of the left arm along the inside of that left calf. Right arm extends to the sky, reaching up as high as you're able. Lengthen and extend out of the shoulder up to the tips of the fingers. Rotating that right palm towards the front, reach it up and over. Turn your gaze down towards your left big toe. Little tuck of your chin towards your chest. Circle that right arm around behind your back. Forearm along the small of the back. Just reach around as far as you're able to. And let's extend that right arm back to the sky. Slowly we rise back to our warrior two. 
straightening that front leg, back arm onto the back leg, front palm to the sky, sweep it up and back, reverse triangle, lengthening through those left fingertips, right hand sliding down that back leg. As you exhale, bend that left knee, sink low. Take your gaze towards your back heel. Tuck your chin towards your collarbone. And inhale it back up. Windmill your hands down, one on either side of your foot. Back heel comes off the mat into a runner's lunge. Breathe. Let's bring both hands to the inside of the foot. Back knee can come to the mat at any point. Coming down to lizard pose if you like. Right elbow bends. You can place that forearm to the mat if you wish. Left forearm if you like. Mm, what's going on with the body? Make sure your body's like, okay, yeah, this feels really good. Challenging, but feels good. If not, back off a little bit. Maybe you come back up to that left palm. Maybe we just slightly bend the elbows. Maybe we stay upright. Whatever feels right to you. Let's bring that back knee to the mat. Untuck the toes. We bring that right hand to the inside of the foot. Left arm extends out. Circle it around. And let's draw that back foot in. So this will definitely get into those quadriceps. Drawing the heel in towards your bum. Turning and looking out over that left shoulder. And just breathe. If you like, you can let that left knee roll open and draw that right hip towards the ground just a little bit more. Releasing the foot, circling that left arm back up and over. Hand on either side of your foot, square the pelvis and slowly begin to sit those sit bones back. Left toes point directly to the sky, nose towards your knee. So really work to square the pelvis. That right side of the pelvis is gonna try and pull back a little bit. If we can keep that pelvis level, you're going to feel this amazing stretch down the back of that left leg. Inhale, slowly transitioning that weight forward, tucking the back toes, lifting that back knee, bringing that back heel to the mat. We stand tall to warrior one. Take a moment, find your warrior one. Inhale, straightening that front leg a little bit. And then exhale, sink. Inhale, straighten that front leg, shifting towards center. Open those arms back out to a T. We come back to our wingspans. Inhale, reach to the sky. Pull the hands to heart center. Sink into those legs. Adjust your feet however you need to. Shoulders are soft. And let's alternate lifting a heel. Doesn't matter which one you start with. Just alternate lifting. Big, full, deep breaths, staying low in those legs, keeping that core nice and strong. Evening it out, whichever foot you started with, make sure you finish with the other. Interlace your fingers, press your palms out and up and rise. Extend those legs as you exhale, lean to the right. Pressing through that left palm, and again, we turn our gaze up along the inside of that left arm. Inhaling it back up nice and tall, gazing center. And exhaling to the left, press through that right palm. We turn and take our gaze up along the inside of that right arm. Inhale it up nice and tall. Open those arms out to a T, shifting right toes towards the top of the mat, left toes towards the top corner of the mat, bend that right knee and sink. Warrior two. Inhale, straightening that front leg a little. And exhale, sink, stay low. Back of the right arm along the inside of the right calf, left arm extends to the sky, reaching up just as high as you can reach. Gazing upward if that's okay on your neck. Breathe. Slowly we turn our gaze down towards the ground. 
and circle that left arm around behind the back, forearm along the small of the back, circle the back of the body as far as you're able, a little tuck of your chin towards that right collarbone, and breathe. A variation of our bound angle. Once again, extending that left arm to the sky, core strong. We rise back to warrior two, straightening that front leg, back arm onto the back leg, front palm to the sky, sweep it up and back. Reverse triangle, lengthening and reaching through those right fingertips, left hand sliding down that back leg. As you exhale, bend that right knee, sink low, Reverse warrior, turning and taking your gaze towards your back heel, little tuck of your chin towards that left collarbone. And inhale it back up to warrior two, windmilling those arms down, hand on either side of your foot, back heel comes off of the mat to our runner's lunge. At any point, that back knee can come down. We bring both hands to the inside of the foot, and we're going to transition to our lizard pose, as much or as little as you like. So we can stay up tall. If you like, you can start to bend those elbows. Maybe that left forearm comes to the mat. Maybe you're right. Maybe they come down, and you got to bring that knee to the mat. That's okay. Adjust. Play with it and see what's right for you. Shakiness just means you're working really hard. Pain means you're a little too deep. Back off. There shouldn't be any pain. And let's slowly come back up to the palms of the hands, releasing that back knee to the mat, untuck your toes, that left hand to the inside of the foot, right arm extends out and circle it around. Drawing your back foot in, take a hold of it, and draw your heel in towards your bum as much as you like. And again, if it feels good to you, you can let that right knee roll open as you turn and look a little deeper out over that shoulder. That left side of the pelvis coming a little deeper into the mat. Just a deeper stretch. You don't have to. Listen to your body. Releasing your foot, circling that right arm back up and over, drawing that right knee back in, hand on either side of your foot. Square the pelvis and begin to sit it back. As we extend that right leg, right toes point towards the sky, draw that left side of the pelvis forward, nose towards your knee. So again, that left side of the pelvis is gonna try and sneak back a little bit, opening up the pelvis. We wanna keep that the hips side by side. Just getting as deep of a stretch as is right for us, making sure that those right toes are still pointed towards the sky. On your next inhale, slowly transition that weight forward. Hands on either side of your foot. Tuck your back toes. Lift that back knee. Breathe. We bring both hands to the inside of the foot, and we're going to slowly walk those hands through center as those toes roll open once again to our wide-legged forward fold. So the toes are slightly rolled open. Upper body is heavy. Just letting yourself hang. Inhale, lift halfway. Heel toe your feet in to just a little bit wider than hip width apart. So maybe one or two heel toe ins. And then as you exhale, slowly begin to bend your knees, lowering your bottom down. We can come back down to our frog pose where we were earlier, nice flat back, bottom about knee height, or you can lower all the way down into your yogi squat or garland pose, hands to heart center. So taking care of your knees, taking care of those hips, whatever that means to you. We release that left hand to the inside of the left foot. Right arm extends to the sky. Reach it up. Circling that right arm around behind the back. Left hand in front of the knee. We wrap around. Can you find your fingertips? Lock them if you can find them. And again, we're looking up out over that right shoulder. Breathe. 
Releasing that bind, coming back through center, hands to heart center. Releasing that right hand to the inside of the right foot, left arm to the sky, reach it up. Circling that left arm around behind the back, right arm in front. Can you reach around and find those fingertips? Now maybe you can on one side and not the other. It's all good. Take your gaze upward. Breathe. And gently release it back to garland. Core strong. We're going to lead with the crown of the head. We rise all the way up. Oh, that was a lot. Inhale, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, arch it back. Open those arms to a nice wide V. Inhaling it up nice and tall. Pull the hands to heart center. Let's turn and step to the top of the mat to mountain. Inhale, reach. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, up to monkey half lift. Exhale, down walk, step or hop to high plank, toes or knees, crocodile. Press it through, up dog. Open up those knees nice and wide, set it back to extended child's pose. And just breathe. Big toes are touching, lots of space between those knees. Arms extended out towards the top of your mat. Sit bones back towards your heels. And let's slowly walk those hands up towards the knees. Come over onto one hip, sweep your feet to the opposite side and slip your feet around. Let's slide on down towards the top of your mat. Bringing the hands behind the thighs, we rock it back once again to our boat pose. Reaching down, taking a hold along the outside of that right leg and extend that right leg. You can take a hold of the big toe if you want to, outside edge of your foot, ankle, thigh, wherever it feels good to you, sitting up nice and tall. Breathe. Gently release that right side and extend the left. And again, your hand might be in a different position on this side. Just go with whatever the hamstring is allowing you to do, keeping that length in that left leg just as much as you can. Now we're gonna bend that left knee, but we're gonna hold on to wherever it was. And we're gonna take the same spot on that right side and extend both legs. Sitting up as tall as you can sit. And then slowly let those legs open out nice and wide. Breathe. Keeping the chest lifted, spine nice and long. Slow your breath. Once again, closing those legs. Using the strength of the arms, pull those legs in. Draw your nose towards your knee. Make yourself as small as you possibly can. And slowly releasing that intensity, releasing your hands, supporting underneath those thighs if you need it. Otherwise, release that support and slowly lower your legs down. Heels touch. Flex your feet, reach to the sky, lengthen and hinge it forward. Releasing your hands and relaxing the weight of your head. Finding your breath. Inhale, reach it out, sit up nice and tall, soften your feet, lower those arms to shoulder height, and ever so slowly, roll it down. One vertebra coming to the mat at a time. Extend those arms overhead. We're gonna lift the upper body and we're gonna move it way up and over to that left corner of your mat. And we're gonna take that Left hand and hold on to the right. And then we're going to lift our feet and we're going to slide our feet down to the bottom left corner of the mat and cross that right ankle over the left. 
So we're working to keep our entire body open to the sky. There's this tendency to kind of lift that right hip and roll onto your left side. Resist that. So working to create a banana shape here, a crescent moon shape. <sighs> upper body towards that upper left corner of the mat, lower body, lower left corner of the mat. You can go beyond the mat if you want to, if your body has got a little bit of extra bend in it today. Just really feeling that great stretch all the way down that right side. And you can stay here a little bit longer if you want to, and then just transition to the other side when you're ready. If you are ready, we lift the upper body and bring it back through center. We're going to take that right leg and we're going to take it all the way down to the bottom right corner of your mat and then cross that left ankle over your right. Now you're going to feel that left hip lift as you do that and then just draw it back down. And then we lift the upper body and move towards the upper right corner of the mat. Right hand taking a hold of that left wrist and just gently pulling it. So really working to open up your belly, open up the front of the pelvis, open up that chest to the sky. And probably one side feels a little easier than the other. A little more range, a little easier to open up the tummy, chest, and pelvis. But oh my goodness, does that feel good. And again, you can stay here a little longer if you need it. As you're ready, bringing that upper body back to center. Lifting that left foot, bringing it back to center. Right foot back to center. Pulling one knee in towards you at a time. Hands come down to your shins. Holding yourself into a little ball and just rock it side to side. Upper body can be lifted or remaining on the mat. I just want this to feel super good for you. So whatever that means, maybe it's a little bit of both. Make it happen. Coming back to center, releasing the upper body back down if it's not already. Right foot to the mat right by your bottom. Left foot to the mat right by your bottom. Feet are hip width apart. Hands come down by your sides. Palms to the mat. Little pelvic tilt. And we press through our heels. Begin to lift those hips towards the sky. Peeling your spine off the mat. One vertebra at a time. Up to bridge pose. Top of bridge pose. Rest it on the back of the head and the back of the shoulders. If you'd like, bring your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers, extending those arms. If it feels good to you, roll those shoulders underneath you. Mm, squeeze those buns and lift your hips just as high as you can get them. Activating hamstrings, glutes. Can you lift any higher? Releasing the hands, unrolling one shoulder and then the other, and ever so slowly releasing back to the mat, one vertebra at a time. Bottom, the last to touch. Let's extend that left leg out and relax it to the mat. Right knee pulls in, right arm out to a T. Left hand to the outside of the right knee and gently pull your leg across. We do our best to keep both shoulders against the mat. And then we're going to turn and look out over that right arm. Close your eyes. Nice, big, deep breath. Releasing that left hand, rolling it back to center. 
Extend that right leg to the sky. Point your toes. Lengthen your leg. Little external rotation through that hip. And slowly lower your leg down. And allow it to come to rest. Left knee comes in. Left arm extends out to a T. Right hand to the outside of the left knee. And gently pull your leg across your body. Keeping both shoulders against the mat. Turn and take your gaze out over that left arm. Close your eyes. Releasing that right hand, rolling it back to center. Extending left leg to the sky, point your toes, lengthen your leg, little external rotation through that hip, and slowly lower your leg down. And allow it to come to rest. Let's bring our hands down by our sides, palms open to the sky. Coming to corpse pose. I'm preparing the mind and the body for Shavasana. A wonderful opportunity to be still, to focus on your breath, to reconnect mind, body, and breath through stillness. Recharging, rejuvenating, Letting go and opening up. Take a few moments, get rid of all the wiggles. Find a place that feels the very best to you. as we relax and give ourselves permission to be still. Through each inhale, our awareness is drawn a little deeper inside. There's a place within each and every one of us, a place of peace, serenity, away from the rest of the world that feels like home. Within this space, there is a window. Find that window. As we look out that window, it is the perfect time, the perfect season. What time is it in your mind? Dawn, dusk, noon, early evening, midday. What do you see outside? What's the weather like? It makes you happy, fills your heart, brings you joy and a sense of peace. If you are so inclined, allow yourself to step outside or just enjoy it from the inside. Wherever you are, what do you feel? What do you hear? What do you see? 
the gift of nature, the gift of comfort, that sense of peace and joy in your head, your heart, your mind, your body. Allow yourself just a few more moments to be truly present right here in this gift. Taking it all in. As we remain here quiet and calm, offering you just a few words to take with you, to set the tone for the week, or to just let them float on by. This week, I decide to live in gratitude, to always see the positive side of things. Surround myself with people who motivate me and fill me with good energies. I decide to focus on the beauty of life and to truly be happy. As you're ready, we begin to wiggle the fingers the toes, roll the wrists and the ankles, just waking up that beautiful body. And as we do, just a moment of gratitude, thanking it for taking us on this journey today. Take the time you need and however you wish, comfortably coming back up to a seated position that feels good to you. We sit up nice and tall, rest the hands, index finger and thumb to your, to touch if you like. Just a couple more good deep breaths. Let's gently open the eyes, take a big breath and reach to the sky and exhale, pull the hands to heart center. And as always, my friends, thank you so, so much for joining me today. Take care of yourself. Be well. And until the next time, always light, love, and namaste.